guys, how you doing? My name is Tommy and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. Look, today's show is all about the beef rib. is the gallery back on barbecue before we get going on this recipe hit that subscribe button ring that bell and leave me a comment down below it is greatly appreciated so look today's show is going to be like i said all about the beef ribs we're going to smoke them low at 225 degrees fahrenheit and we're looking at a, about a, a five a six hour cook I'm going with some uh, Heath Riles cherry rub and also some uh, Heath Riles uh, garlic jalapeno rub. I'm uh, super pumped for this uh, video. It's been a while since I uh, have cooked on a pellet grill, right? So I'm looking forward to it. And look, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to score the uh, membrane. I'm not going to remove the membrane. Sometimes when I do beef ribs, I like a nice bite, right? I like a little uh, resistance in the bite. I don't want to fall off the bones. So I'm going to leave the membrane on and just score it. And we're going with a Heath Riles a jalapeno garlic rub. I've heard good things about this rub from my uh, viewers. So of course I uh, went out and picked it up, right? I'll leave links down below for the uh, garlic jalapeno or jalapeno garlic rub and also this a cherry rub by Heath Riles. Everything will be down in the description if you're interested. And I can tell you right now that this cherry rub is off the hook good. If you've never had it, I suggest that you check it out. I've used it on several cooks and I'm telling you everything I put it on is just that shit freaking crazy. I mean, just out of the world good. I mean, everything I sprinkle on it turns out to be the best thing I've ever cooked. You know, I just love the flavor. I can't uh, recommend it enough. And also puts a, uh, puts a nice cherry color on the uh, beef. Look, we got the uh, Pit Boss 820, gonna be screaming at 225 degrees. I'm just gonna do that for about 45 minutes or so. Then I'm gonna jack it up to 250, right? I'll let the uh, ribs run middle shelf because I'm not uh, familiar with this pit yet. It's brand new. And then at two hours, what I'm gonna do is uh, check the uh, ribs and uh, check them for spritzing and I'll be spritzing a 50-50 apple juice water. and we are at the uh, two hour mark and you see I get no transfer of the rub on my uh, on my finger except for that one spot so I know they're ready to be spritzed right if you were to open these up and the uh, rub is still wet with a lot of moisture you don't want to spritz it yet right you want that that rub to set up on your uh, whether it's pork ribs or uh, brisket right you don't want to spritz until that rub has set up nicely and we are looking a good And I mean, look at that color. I believe we are in hour three, hour three, with a, another spritz. I'll be spritzing on the, uh, I'll be spritzing on the hour now. And again, total cook time is gonna be about five, five and a half hours. And we're gonna cook it to toothpick tender. and here we are in a little over four hours and those ribs are looking good so what we're going to do here now i'm not checking for temperature i'm checking for toothpick tender i want no resistance when i pull and i'm getting a little resistance so i know we got about another hour or so left and i want to get the uh 
shift these ribs around a little bit. I think it's a little hotter up front, and that's a bigger rack right there. So we'll kind of move them up front and move that small rack in the back. All right, look, we're a little over five hours now, and I know these ribs are just about done. So what I'm gonna do is get some cherry rub down on the uh, ribs, and I'm gonna baste them with a uh, 75, 25 BBQ sauce honey. If you don't like the honey, then you can stick with that BBQ sauce, right? I like the honey, so uh, I do a 75, 25. So we're getting a little rub down and we're getting a little uh, honey a barbecue sauce down. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna run these ribs for about another, well, about another half hour and let that rub set up. This is the other rack here, so we're gonna get the same thing. We'll get a little uh, rub down, we'll get a little BBQ sauce down, then some rub down, and then some uh, BBQ sauce to kind of brush it in. We'll move these to the uh, bottom uh, rack, and we'll let them uh, sit there for about a half hour more, and then we will check them for a toothpick tender. Temperature for beef ribs means nothing to me. It's all about that toothpick. You put it in and slides with no resistance, man. You know it has broken and down and it is ready to come off. Again, so don't worry about the temperature gauge. Just notice the in and out with hardly any resistance and these puppies are done. So what I'm gonna do here is get them in the foil. I'll wrap them and let them sit for approximately 15 minutes. Then we'll unwrap them and cut them open and uh, Get a little taste test, of course. Guys, as I'm wrapping these up, hit the uh, subscribe button, ring that bell, so you get the uh, notified on all my uploads. I have stuff coming up from Master Bill, Pit Boss, and of course, Blackstone. So you want to get in on all of that stuff. It's good stuff. at the end of the 15 minutes or so and I gotta tell you man that is a uh, that's a good looking rack these are cherry beef ribs man and these suckers aim to please I guarantee it and again links will be down in the description if you want to pick up that uh, Heath Riles cherry rub Anytime I see my local market gets these beef ribs in, I always grab a couple racks and throw them in the uh, freezer. I mean, this is good stuff. This is a Father's Day cook, and I am the one happy father. And you see we got a decent a smoke ring. Those ribs are juicy. That color is uh, out of this world. And like I said, we'll have a little a bite on these suckers, right? You want a little bite on beef ribs, so I leave that a scored membrane on the back, of course. And there you go. Look, hit that subscribe button, or ring that bell. And uh, just as important, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of this cook. Like I said, we got stuff coming up from the uh, Master Built Pit Boss. We got some Blackstone coming up also. So we uh, hope to see you uh, for all of them. And until next time, next video, we will uh, see you soon.